So sermorelin is another peptide that's not as popular, but it's like a pretty cool like uh, sidekick to the GLP ones because the GLP ones do cause weight loss, but often cause muscle loss, mm -hmm. stomach issues, and sermorelin actually helps with muscle gain, muscle rejuvenation. So how do you use it in your practice? How do you use it with GLP ones, without GLP ones? How does sermorelin basically factor into your okay? Well, remember, when a person's on a GLP-1, we'll definitely make sure they're on a high-protein diet. They cannot skimp on that, but they'll cut back on carbs. And then with sermorelin, which is a growth hormone releasing hormone, uh, basically, it, it's we know that growth hormone has a lot of benefits. Uh, there are ways that the body can make growth hormone on its own, like if a person is in a fasted state before they work out, or if they're getting the deep restorative sleep, their body's producing growth hormone better. But as we get older, we're just not making as much as we used to. And hence, that's part of the reason why people think that they're getting sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle mass as they get older. So things like sermorelin is very useful to take five days a week at night on an empty stomach, yep. which then helps the body to naturally produce growth hormone in a pulsatile fashion mm -hmm. before they go to sleep. And, uh, and, and just like you were suggesting, the benefits of that growth hormone surge is to improve the signal to make muscle yep. and burn fat. Yeah. So yes, you're right. Those two work together yep. very well. Yeah. It's amazing. And the like the cycling of it, doing uh going on and off of these. And I mean, ideally you want patients to the point where they've adjusted their lifestyle that they don't need these peptides that they're naturally producing it from lifting proper diet. So it's kind of like this like um push in the right direction yeah it's it enhances a healthy lifestyle and diet a person has to has to do the diet with this in order to get the best results and couple that with some exercise which could be four times a week for 40 minutes of some kind of resistance training and uh, if a person is un, you know unsure of how to get started they should work with a trainer or one of the local gyms there's lots of ways to to get started with that even by the way walking can be great after dinner that's how it start oh yeah uh that combo glp1 and sermorellin is really quite good